hi guys how are you guys doing hope you guys are well and that you guys are keeping safe if this is your very first time meeting this bold beautiful dark skin girl from south sudan you're highly welcome to my space can you don't forget to subscribe like comment share and let me know where you're watching from as you guys can see by the title of this video today i'm going to show you how they cook my traditional food that's wal wal so let me show you what we're going to use today and we dive into the video. So this is mesla that we fermented since yesterday. As you can see, it actually I don't know how to say it's smelly watch. I don't know. But in my language they say why why are you doing it like that? Yeah, yeah. Then there are two types of flour here. There's the mess flour and there's also wheat flour. So we are going to make the and yeah, we are going to use local tigiri, obviously. Come and I'll show you. This is what we are going to use today. These are our charcoal. And so, you guys, if you don't know, I'm actually not feeling so well. I had some minor accident, but also, I don't know, it got some infection and still paining. So, as you guys can see, my leg. So, I'm not going to be colors so i'm not going to be the one cooking but my beautiful sister is here madam come here Thank come you. now may they see you <laughs> i have my sister here so she's going to help me cook the wall wall so as you guys can see we look alike this is my look alike mm -hmm. and this is my very young sister but you see everybody's tall in my family and i look short for them so <laughs> yeah she's she's the one that's going to cook for us so let's just dive into the video guys We're not going to cook too much food. We just cook play around so there are no people. I wish you guys can come and eat. So let's light fire when we start making it. I would like to fire first while we are making it first. So the first step is
The, the fire is firing very well now. You guys can see. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to put water on fire. Oh, mama. Yes. Yeah, so now this water have to boil very well. This water must boil properly. I'm going to show you guys anyway, shall we? So yeah. Let me show you how much the water is. That's how much the water is. And let's cover it. And in the other hand, sis is there almost with our wall wall. Oh my god. I think you guys saw me last time when I was cooking a cob or cob. This is the same process, but the difference is the other one you have to um, stew it, but this one you boil it. That's the difference, right? So, yeah. And another thing is this same basin that she's using, or this container she's using this is not the initial one we use for making but she's actually strong if me i was not going to manage you guys so guys this is the final product of what it is called wall wall and this one actually you can make a cup with it you just it but this one we're going to boil it so we have put our water on camera before let's check how hot it is yes our water has boiled very hot so what we do is you make sure you don't put it at once put it slowly so that it does not stick together it has to remain what separate this tiny, tiny pieces have to stay like that. Put your up here. Mm -hmm. So you leave it like that for some time. Before you add another one, you keep adding slowly, slowly until it becomes thick, all of it. Mm -hmm. So guys, I've not been capturing all because yeah, that's the same process of adding small small. So so far this is how it's looking like. Right? But we have to add to make it thick. It should not be so thick and it should not also be too liquid. Right? So now you have to skin on this one. You have to do it skill. And you put them slowly so that they don't stick together. Yeah, no, I don't know. You're okay. Mm. So, this will be it. And let's watch it now get ready. You are seeing how they are all separate and you can clearly tell the pieces. So, let it talk to I can see. Can 
so it starts shooting or oh, what english do i use here you go And we're going to eat it with yogurt today. I'll try if we can eat on camera, right? So that you guys can see how it's served. You make sure you just turn, turn slowly, or don't smash it. Or those who are learning, African Nyako, how are you? I hope you are learning so that you can cook for your man. Yes, a Sudanese man that is coming. My Sudanese brothers, please go for Nyako. So that she remains here in South Sudan. We don't want her to go back to Uganda. And for me, I'm going to Uganda. I'm going to marry from Pakwach. So we're exchanging with her. If you are single South Sudanese and you are rich, go for Nyako. As for me, I'm going to her village. So let's exchange. <laughs> food now if you guys can see it is very thick right now so the next thing we are going to do is to serve it and we are going to put it on this floor so that we are going to use for our food um, i don't want to get burned Normally in the village, women always leave something small because most kids they always give the food to husband and the kids. So for them, that's what they eat. And even this one is made. They normally leave very tiny. They just put small milk and that's what they eat. So yeah, as they cook, this is what I'm going to eat. <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. Shall yeah, you guys. So that's it for our one. This is how it looks like, and this look absolutely nice. So I'm going to take you guys along when we are eating it or if you don't get the chance to eat on camera because right now mm, are we going to eat on camera? No, no, no. We decide. So if we get time to serve food. Wait, me to eat a chat at all. So that's milk and we are going to add some. Ah, what do you learn? I'm attacking. As you guys can see, you can serve this with milk or yogurt. So we have mixed both, as you can see. It's looking weird, but it's nice. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> They're eating it for the first time, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> She's eating it for the first time. Yeah. Carlos, bye. See you guys. It will be the end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate you guys taking your time. I hope someone out there have learned something. And I hope you guys now know my local food or my traditional food. Well, well. Even because it's what I want to test for you guys. And I love the fact that it is fermented, so it actually make the taste even better. So let me test. Mm. The smell and the aroma and the taste is not very sour, but at least also it's not tasteless. So yeah, that's what I would say. Why material? <laughs> I'll go and cook this kind of food in the US. So for it to cool very fast, let's do this.
So yeah, bye guys. Bye.